वेलकम यू ऑल टू पार्ट टू ऑफ द चैप्टर यूनिट्स एंड मेजरमेंट्स इन अर्लीयर डेज पीपल ऑफ डिफरेंट कंट्रीज यूज डिफरेंट सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट्स बट देर वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम वाइल कन्वर्टिंग फ्रॉम वन सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट टू अदर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर इन इंडिया एंड यू आर यूजिंग एम के एस सिस्टम एंड योर फ्रेंड स्टेज इन इंग्लैंड एंड ही इज यूजिंग एफ पी एस सिस्टम इन अ टेलीफोनिक कन्वर्सेशन यू आस्क हिम वॉट इज हिज वेट and he replied 100 pounds now there is a confusion in your mind is he fat or lean if you think he is fat then you are wrong because 1 pound is equal to 0.45 kg means he is just 45 kg so this was the problem faced by the scientists of those days scientists of different countries used different system of units for the measurements for example Italian community used MKS system German community used CGS system and Britain community used FPS system and as the advancement of science and technology all the scientists wanted to collaborate their research work but during this collaboration they faced problem in calculation to get rid of this problem all the scientists came up with universal system of units and that system of unit came to be known as si system and that will be the session of today si units that is system international units it is a globally accepted system of units this is a system of units accepted by all the countries throughout the world it was developed and recommended by general conference of weight and measures and in this conference all the scientists came up with single system of units now let us divide this si unit into two types one is fundamental and another one is derived based upon the physical quantity there are seven fundamental si units and two supplementary si units there are seven physical quantities on which all other physical quantities depend on so those are length mass time electric current temperature amount of a substance and luminous intensity and the units of these physical quantities are called fundamental si units it is a system of units in which length is measured in meter and the symbol of meter is small letter m mass is measured in kilogram and its symbol is kg small letter k small letter g time is measured in second and the symbol is small letter s electric current is measured in ampere and the symbol is capital letter a temperature is measured in kelvin and the symbol is capital letter k amount of a substance is measured in mole and the symbol is m o l luminous intensity is measured in candela and its symbol is cd small letter c and small letter d so these are the symbols of these si units and these si units are called as fundamental si units with these seven fundamental si units there are two supplementary si units there are two supplementary physical quantities one is plane angle and another one is solid angle the angle measured in two dimension that is plane angle the angle measured in three dimension is called solid angle plane angle is measured in radian and its symbol is rad and solid angle is measured in steradian and its symbol is sr so these are the two supplementary si units and this is all about fundamental si units now let us move on to the derived si units derived physical quantities are the quantities which are derived from fundamental physical quantities and their si units are called as derived si units let us see some of the derived physical quantities and their si units okay let us start with the first one that is area area can be calculated by multiplying length into breadth so length into breadth the si unit of area is so the unit of length is meter unit of breadth is meter so the unit of area is meter into meter that is meter square or you can also write it as square meter now let us go with the second one that is volume volume can be cal calculated by multiplying length breadth and height length into breadth into height the unit of length is meter unit of breadth is meter 
unit of height is meter so the unit of volume is meter into meter into meter that is meter cube or you can also write it as cubic meter okay let us go with third one that is speed or velocity speed or velocity can be calculated by the ratio of distance by time the unit of distance is meter and unit of time is second so the si unit of speed or velocity is meter per second you can write it as meter per second like this okay now let us move on to the acceleration acceleration can be calculated by the ratio of change in velocity to the time taken the si unit of velocity is meter per second the si unit of time is second so the si unit of acceleration is meter per second square okay if you take this s to the numerator it will be s raised to minus 1 s raised to minus 1 s raised to minus 1 it will be s raised to minus 2 so the si unit of acceleration is meter per second square okay let us move to the next one density the formula for density is mass divided by volume the si unit of mass is kg and the si unit of volume is meter cube so the si unit of density is kg per meter cube so you can write it as like this kg per meter cube okay these are the sum of the derived physical quantities and the si units let us see some more now okay next one is momentum the formula for momentum is mass into velocity the si unit of mass is kg the si unit of velocity is meter per second so the si unit of momentum is kg meter per second so this is the si unit of momentum now let us move to the next one that is force the formula for force is mass into acceleration the si unit of mass is kg the si unit of acceleration is meter per second square you can write the si unit of force as kg meter per second square but we are not writing that instead we are giving the name of a scientist like uh, newton is the si unit of force right in order to honor the scientist who have worked in a particular field we are naming the name of the scientist as the si units of some physical quantities in the similar manner the si unit of force is newton right when you write it in the symbol you must write it as capital letter n right but you write the name of the scientist n should be small and this is a rule now let us move on to the pressure the formula for pressure is force by area the si unit of force is newton area is meter square so the si unit is of pressure is newton per meter square or it can also be written as pascal that is the name of the scientist so the symbol is capital p and the small letter a right pascal is the si unit of pressure now let us move to the next one that is work or energy the formula for work is force into displacement the si unit of force is newton unit of displacement is meter so the si unit of work or energy can it as newton meter again we are naming the scientist's name for the si unit of work or energy that is joule and its symbol is cap letter j now let us move to the next one that is power the formula for power is work done divided by time taken right the si unit of work is joule and uh, the time taken is second you can write it as joule per second or you can write it as watt right so the symbol is cap letter w the last one let us check it out frequency the formula for frequency is 1 divided by period so the unit will be 1 divided by the si unit of period is second that is per second but instead we are honoring in terms of the name of the scientist hertz right so the si unit of frequency is hertz and the symbol is cap letter h small letter z so these are some of the derived physical quantities and their si units and one thing what you observe here is all the physical quantities depends upon fundamental physical quantities that's why these physical quantities are called as derived physical quantities and their si units are called as derived si units thank you